Hello guys! Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. This is my cooking session number 14 and this video is related to our frosting because this time guys, I'm gonna show you how to make stable icing. So, napaka-affordable lang ng costing nito guys and super dali lang po talagang gawin. So, ayan guys, bago ang lahat, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell button para updated kayo sa mga videos ko. So, ayan guys, kung gusto nyong malaman at matutunan paano gumawa ng stable icing, stay foot ka lang and keep on watching. We have the following ingredients. Egg whites. White sugar. Cream of tartar. Calamansi or lemon extract and water. So first guys, magready na po kayo ng inyong paglulutuan. Then ilagay nyo po yung ating water. Then isunod nyo po yung ating white sugar. Then haluin nyo lang pong mabuti guys until matunaw yung asukal. Next guys, lagyan na po natin ng ating calamansi extract or lemon extract. Mas masarap yung ating icing pag may calamansi extract guys. So kung may lemon naman, pwede din naman po. So ayan guys, continue nyo lang po yung paghalo until mag-caramelize po yung ating sugar. After ilang minutes guys, eto na po siya, caramelize na po siya. Next procedure guys, gawa po tayo ng ating merang. Whip po natin itong ating egg whites. So next guys, lagyan na po natin ng 1 teaspoon of cream of tartar para mawala yung lansa. So ayan guys, kung wala naman po kayong cream of tartar, pwede naman po kayong gumamit ng 1 teaspoon ng white vinegar. Then continue nyo lang po, i-mix lang po ng mabuti. So next guys, ilagay na po natin gradually ang ating caramelized sugar. Take note guys, ilagay nyo po habang mainit pa siya. Then, continue nyo lang po ulit yung pagmix until makuha po natin, mamit po natin yung texture ng ating icing. A few minutes later. So ayan guys, after 5 minutes, makinis na po yung texture ng ating icing. So malalaman nyo yan guys kung okay na. Pag yung icing natin is itinaog nyo po, is hindi siya babagsak. So ayan guys, itry po natin ito up itong pinaglalagyan ng ating icing. Kita nyo naman po, super stable ng ating icing. So it means okay na po ito. At hindi siya madaling matunaw guys, kahit mainit. So ayan guys, try na po natin maglagay sa ating cake nitong ating icing. First, maglagay tayo ng 
icing dito sa ating piping bag. So, ayan guys, basic lang po talaga yung design na magagawa ko kasi wala, hindi pa po talaga ako expert sa paglagay ng icing. So, pagpasensyahan nyo na po yan guys. At least maipakita ko sa inyo na gaano ka stable yung icing natin, hindi siya bumabagsak. So, ayan guys, tapos na po. Kita nyo naman guys, o. Oh, ba diba? Okay na rin to guys. At least, nakagawa kayo ng sarili nyo homemade na icing. So, ayan guys, another satisfied recipe and cooking session po ulit ang ating natapos. Super affordable lang guys ng costing ng ingredients nitong ating icing. For only 50 pesos, pwede na po kayong makagawa nito. So, ayan guys, kung di nyo pa po napapanood yung ating no oven banana cake, watch nyo na rin po yan. And yung ating stable frosting plus itong ating icing. So, ayan guys, complete procedure na po kung paano po kayo makakagawa ng inyong homemade cake. So, I hope na nagustuhan nyo itong ating cooking session for today and I hope din na may nakuha kayong idea dahil dyan, kung bago ka pa lang dito sa aking channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click nyo na rin ang bell button para updated kayo sa mga videos ko. So, ayan guys, watch out kayo sa aking mga next vlog. Thanks for watching!